unlike any ant colony I've ever raised before. This time I'm bringing you something totally different. Me Harpignathos Venator, the fabulous multi-queen ants which are clear for drama. Over the next 60 days, I'll be following their every move, from hunting prey and moving nests, to their weird and wonderful social habits. And yes, I'm recording everything. Welcome back to Antrek. Day 1, my package has arrived. No, it's not what it looked like. The journey begins with two queen ants. These ladies are the heart of the colony. They'll be in charge of building the next generation. I'll be putting them through a series of challenges that simulate real world scenarios. For starters, I offered them a little honey. They're not really into sweets. Maybe they're just not hungry yet. Chill, it's just honey. Yeah, okay. I've decided to give them time to settle in and focus on raising their empire. Day 10. I opened the test tube. And it was still just the two queens and a few larvae. I had a gut feeling that one of the larvae wasn't doing so well. So I carefully picked it up to take a closer look. It had completely dried out. Who knows how long ago. And then I froze. This wasn't just any larva, it was a drone. You can tell by the long body, the swollen thorax where wings would grow, and the big head with developed eyes. Rest in peace, little guy, you had potential. Day 20. Our very first worker and has arrived, and shockingly, she's almost the same size as the queens, from a distance. You need laser vision to tell who's the queen and who's the muscle. But what I couldn't stop staring at was her terrifying jaws. I decided to give it a paper test run. Cardboard. So what about iron? Day 30. Day 30, the colony has now grown to three worker ants. They've started dividing tasks. Some take care of the baby larvae while others stay on high alert. But can they really take down a living target quickly? I'm dropping a live worm into the arena. Immediately, a worker ant approached. It sniffed around for a bit. How's it going? Man, get out of here! Stay away from me! What? I told you to go somewhere else! Let me help you! Oh, never mind. Hey, behave yourself and I'll let you go. Otherwise... <laughs> Otherwise, you... How? Let me out! Let me out! The prey started thrashing like it just realized it was in big trouble. After a while, the poor thing had to say its goodbyes. Day 50. After a month of being raised in a test tube, the colony has a total of 11 members, including two queens and nine workers, along with other eggs and larvae. At this point, pupil casings have also appeared in the test tube. Compared to other species, Harpignathos venator has a slower rate of reproduction and maturation for its first brood. Typically, after 30 days, the queens of other species have already produced a large number of worker ants. The test tube is getting seriously cramped. So I gave them an upgrade. I connected a fresh new tank using a little tunnel. A lone worker ant ventured through the tube. Scouting ahead, it explored the new tank, circling around. This was the perfect nest to relocate to. It returned to inform the colony. Bro, new house is super amazing! Time to move the whole crew. Come here! Wow, fast, bro! Everyone, please remember our larvae. Let's carefully bring them with us to the new house. Let me help you. 
Awesome! Could you help me carry the larvae over there? The ant colony has officially completed their big move. They wasted no time settling into their new home. One corner was quickly chosen as the nursery baby larvae only, please. And another area, heavily guarded, that's the royal suite, reserved strictly for the queens. One of the coolest things about this ant species? They can jump. Unlike trapjaw ants like Odontomagus, who launch themselves by snapping their jaws, Harpignado's Venator jumps using their back legs just like some agile predatory ants. So of course, I had to test it out. I set up a brand new outworld, laid down some fine sand, added a few stylish rocks for aesthetics, boom, ready to go. I connected the tube and let the ants explore their new playground. The squad moved in fast, then I added a little surprise, a hanging cockroach. Let's see what those jumping legs can really do. Am I not charming enough? Oh my gosh, this ant just quickly walked away. Not a single ant stopped. Not at all. Wait. Oh my god, they did not disappoint things didn't stop there. The cockroach became the next target, with big eyes and sharp vision. The ant tracked it easily, she crept up from behind and... Move! A sec, it almost found me. Oh, my God! <laughs> well, the outcome of the fight is crystal clear, right? Thanks to the clever tactics and seriously cool solo hunting skills, our jumping ant has won the battle gloriously. Let's all congratulate our little ant. Afterward, instead of enjoying her reward alone, she carefully carried the cockroach back to her nest to savor a warm meal with her loved ones. She's truly beautiful and kind-hearted. Day 60 Back at the nest, everything's business as usual. The cockroach from the last hunt? Yeah, its body is now surrounded by baby ants. This is how they eat, by munching on whatever the workers bring home like it's a weird little picnic. But something's odd. There are only 10 ants in sight, including both queens. Then we spot it near their trash pile, a lone worker and dead. Our best guess, it was from the first generation. Shorter lifespan, probably just ant retirement forever. A tiny ant society is growing stronger, complicated, tough, and full of surprises. Thanks for tagging along with Antric. See you in the next episode where these tiny warriors continue their epic, bite-sized journey. Check out this video for more, and I see you in the next one.